All right, in approaching multiple attack uh, strategy and concept, you begin, or one of the beginning level exercises is to, is to just start dealing with one person and another, giving you very plain Jane attacks and doing nothing but evading. And so we'll start with Cameron, and then Damon will come in. The attack's coming in, and I'm just putting a hand up and evading. Putting a hand up and evading, just practicing turning. And after I get comfortable with this, I want to always start turning and looking for the next attack as it's coming. And they're just giving me basic hands to deal with. They're not really swinging their hands or getting wild with their hands. I'm just constantly looking for the next attack. And I'm just touching and moving off, touching and moving off. And I like to keep my feet constantly moving, constantly moving and changing, constantly moving, constantly moving. And you just practice like this a long time. Now, you go from that to the next level, which is they get to launch those hands still in a fairly straight arm fashion coming up the center line, so it's not too, uh, too unusual. But it's basically the same as that, but the hands are getting that rising action. So again, we do the same thing. Has a little different feel to it. And I'm just practicing passing one hand off to the other. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. My hands are making contact and passing from one hand to the other. As I stay in motion, I look for the next man to come. Now, from there you can start changing up the attacks even more. You can have dynamic attacks, punches and yokeman strikes and even start getting into kicks and what have you. But again, once you make that transition and you start into these wider variety of striking conditions, I recommend that you slow it back down again and then build up speed gradually. So whatever kinds of strikes you guys like. Now, with this whole variety of activity of doing just evasion and just hand passing, just evasion and hand passing, we've dealt with the, in the previous work of being grasped, which comes from the release issues. Now we've dealt with all the punching and kicking ideas. Then we get to start slowly adding our own techniques, our own throws. And so now when the hand comes in, whichever way it comes in, we make the hand change and we make a little control position. We don't immediately just turn it loose. We make a little control position, little grip, little control position, little grip. And you learn to maneuver the man, maneuver the man, and put him in the way of the second person. Very important to, to work on that and do lots and lots of repetition of that and slip under the arm too, out, to, out of the arm. Under the arm, control position, control position, control position, control position. And ultimately the throwing activity starts evolving out of those fluid control positions. You don't worry so much about this technique or that technique or I want to do this to him or that to him. You worry about catching things on the fly in continual motion from the natural handoff position that you happen to get. In this case, I've got a Tenkai over here. His second hand comes in. I make a little Kuragais here. The next man comes in. I make a little Oshitoshi here. The next hand comes in. A little Kuragais action here. The next hand comes in. A little Shomanate on this guy. Going down to my Atoshi. Now Kuragaishi. A little change, change. A little Sumi Atoshi here. So, you're not really too worried about what technique you're doing or trying to do. In fact, you're not trying to do a technique. You're winding up in lots of techniques that are the resultant of just holding those control positions and moving through space with the guys. So that gives you the fluidity to then go ahead and make throw conditions occur on the fly without getting bogged down in, in uh, 
trying to structure it or plan it or make it happen too much. It's all happening on the move, on the throw, without any stop-go action. And the fallback position for everything, if all else fails and the man's coming in and everything is drawn a blank, whatever else happens, your basic, your basic mechanism of, uh, of, uh, of drop back and punt is always, always hand to the face, hand to the face, hand to the face. You can do a huge amount, multiple attack work, doing nothing but targeting their eyes, hand to the face, center line, over and over and over again. And you want to practice just that element over and over and over again until you know confidently that when you go completely blank and your head and your subconscious is in vapor lock and you can't even make a good move, you're just kind of being overwhelmed by the whole intensity of the situation, that's where your subconscious wants to go. You hit that reflex and you go, uh, what am I doing? Hand to the face, automatic. Build it consistently, build it slowly and safely, and then you can use it a high degree of the time, high probability success. Thank you.